In this video, we bring you a really slick variation for your East Coast swing. What's up, gang? It's Brian B. And Miss Megan. And we run a couple of different websites for dancers. West Coast Swing Online, Country Dance Online, Social Dance Online. So depending upon what you're interested in, we've got a video for you. In this video, we're going to cover a, a variation for East Coast Swing, a toe heel swivel variation. We've got three different versions. Here's what we're going to do in the video. We're going to show it to you to music. We're going to break down all the variations. And then we're going to give you some free stuff at the end. But first, let's watch the video to music. All right, cool gang. Let's break this down. So we're gonna um, get to a two hand hold. So we can get to this from anything. We do a basic, right, rock step. And what I wanna do is I wanna change my grip. Anytime I change my grip, um, it will communicate to the follower that something different is happening. It doesn't mean it's a lead, but we're communicating that something's different, right? We're aware. We're aware, right? <laughs> if I'm dancing in closed position, I start to change this hand, she knows something's up. So in this case, off of a rock step, I can pick up this grip. That's the grip that's gonna clue Megan in that this pattern's a possibility. So the first version, we're gonna go through um, all three versions. Let's cover the first one first. The standard toe heel swivel. We go toe, heel, cross a toe, heel, cross. So if we did that from behind, we'll put Miss Megan on this side. Then we can go backwards, it's the same for both of us. Yeah, there you go. You're just on the opposite foot, so you. Yep. Uh, leaders, left foot is free, followers, right foot is free. As we rock step, we go rock step. We're gonna have a toe, we're gonna have a heel, and we're gonna cross. Then we're gonna do it again, a toe, heel, cross. Do it two more times, toe, heel, cross, toe, heel, cross. So that's the first iteration, but after teaching this for a long period of time, I'm gonna leave you there, Miss Megan, for me. One of the keys we found is the swivel of the standing foot is gonna make this easier. What I mean by that is, if this foot were stuck in the mud and it never moved and we rock stepped and we never swiveled that foot, it would be hard to step across ourselves. It would be very awkward and it's just the foot that's moving. It doesn't have the same effect. So what I want you to practice is as we rock step, as we do the toe, the standing foot, my right foot, Megan's left foot swivels a little bit in. Then we swivel it out and then we swivel it back across and we swivel it in, we swivel it out, back across. One more time, a toe, a heel, across, a toe, a heel, across. Now, that's actually going to be slightly easier with a partner as we rock step, because we can kind of work off of them in this frame. We rock step, right? Right off the bat, we swivel. A toe, a heel, across. A toe, a heel, across. The advantage of the swivel, number one, it's a little bit cooler, a little bit easier on the body. Number two, if we don't swivel, we'll tend to walk towards each other. Rock step, we go toe, heel, we'll run out of room towards each other. But if we can swivel the foot, we can swivel and step across ourselves, and you notice I'm not crossed in my footwork. I've actually been able to swivel. So that is the first of three variations. Um, let's just talk about real quick how to get out of that. Rock, step, toe, heel, cross, toe, heel, cross. When I'm ready, the cross has a little bit of a down. I pick this up with my body up, and I kind of square this off and send Megan back for a rock step. And when I say send, if you notice, she feels pressure like there's a glass wall in between us, I'm not sending it to that side of the glass wall, right? She just feels a little pressure that tells her it's the rock step. Cool beans? So that's a little tricky to master, but that's version number one. Version number two might actually be easier than number one. I have used this with some of my older students, um, that the speed is an issue, and that is we're gonna hold on the cross. So rock step, toe, heel, cross with a hold. Toe, heel, cross with a hold toe, heel, cross with a hold, toe, heel, cross with a hold. So that might actually be an easier version to faster music. Mm -hmm. Exact same technique. Anything to add so far, Miss Megan? 
Uh, no, both are very fun to do, but again, if you struggle with the speed at all, holding that is going to help a lot. Yeah, that's definitely one, although it's just toe heel cross in the syllabus officially. Uh, practically speaking, when I've taught this to a lot of students, we tend to hold a little bit until we get a little bit more energetic and we want to do this version, which has a lot more energy to it. I wonder how long I can make her do that. I didn't know how long he was going to do it. There you go. So what's happening here is we're taking that cross section or the, the heel part, we're turning it into a kick. So I'm going to put Miss Megan here. So as we rock step, it's almost the same with the swivel, only toe, right? But then we're going to kick it out, almost like a kick, like a little point. And then we're going to have our cross, a toe, a kick, a cross, a toe, a kick, a cross. Oh, that was a heel, a toe, a kick, a cross. The biggest elemental difference in this is going to be Number one, we've had the footwork, toe, heel, cross, or in this case, toe, kick, cross. Uh, number two, we talked about the swiveling action. Three is an up and down action, right? And that's what's gonna make this a little bit more, if we actually remove ourselves, rock, step. This is a toe, a kick, a cross. A toe, a kick, a cross. So the uh is the up of the standing foot. So we do this footwork wise again, before we do this all together and then give you a piece to music. Rock, step. That step is a little bit of a heavy feeling, right? So I have something to pick up in my standing foot. So I have a toe, a kick, a cross, a down, a down, a down, a down, a down, a down. That also might or might not be easier with a partner. So, last demo before we go to music. Rock, step, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. I won't make Miss Megan do it all <laughs> for too long. Um, any thoughts on that? Uh, if you don't keep your weight in your toes, you're going to have a problem. If you put your whole foot down and not stay more uh, all the forward foot. in your feet. And a lot like uh, a lot of these patterns, there are definite, so the question is, what if my follower doesn't know that version of the pattern? I want to kick, she only knows toe heel, doesn't make a difference. Do you want to pick which one you want to do, just for demonstration purpose? Yeah, I'm lazy, I'll do the lazy one. <laughs> so, <laughs> Megan's going to be lazy, right? But I think that I just want to have some fun. It works either way, cool? So, we'll have a quick demo to music to see the pattern once more time, and one more time. Once, once more, more time. Once more, or one more time. Thanks for hanging out with us, gang. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any final thoughts for the group? Hope you have some fun doing some East Coast Swing. East Coast Swing. If you want some more cool resources, head on over to either Country Dance Online or Social Dance Online. Uh, as always, like and subscribe to the channel. Give us a little thumbs up if you like this version of video with the music, and we will pump more of these out for you on Social Dance Sunday. So we upload three times a week. What are the three days? Uh, there are West Coast Wednesdays, Frustration Fridays and Social Dance Sundays. Yeah, so on Wednesdays is our West Coast Swing videos. On Fridays, we cover a frustrating topic. We've pulled literally tens of thousands of dancers and uh, we get hundreds of emails, uh, if not over a thousand emails a month. And so we have kind of taken in all of those questions and frustrations. Mm -hmm. So our Friday video is to kind of let you know that you are not alone, the struggles that you're having are common, so we just try to talk through some of those, offer you some advice. And then on Sunday, we have Social Dance Sundays, which covers? Yes, every other Sunday. Every other Sunday currently at our current schedule. So those will cover dances like Two Step, Nightclub, Cha Cha, East Coast Swing, Waltz, those types of dances. You'll see those coming out on Sundays. So uh, share this channel with a friend, and we will see you again soon. Mm -hmm.